Ray Wheatley for five years. I'm here with Timothy Zhu, the son of the great Custer Zhu. How are you, Timothy? Good, thank you. How are you? Very good, Timothy. Timothy, you've just had your fight with um, uh, here at the Douglas McDonald. Yeah. Very good win, mate. Three round knockout. Are you happy with your performance? I was, I was, you can never be happy, you know. Um, there's always things to improve on. You can never, you can never be perfect. I think I, what I did was enough, enough yeah. to get the win. At the end of the day, it's all about the W. Yeah. But I think there, there's a lot, a lot to improve on. A lot okay. to improve on. I got to get back to the gym and. and how many fights is that for you now as an amateur? 30, 31 now. 31. 32. 32. 32. 32. Yeah. That was a good win, mate. So yeah. 74 kilos. Yeah, 74. You know, what happened was um, I was supposed, my brother was supposed to be fighting as well, and um, his opponent pulled out. No, he pulled out because he was sick. Yeah. Cool. My opponent yeah. pulled out uh, last night. So I'm walking around 77, and then um, what happened was um, that opponent, that Nikita was supposed to fight. Now I have to fight. Yeah. So I had to drop what, know, four, four kilos or something, three, yeah. three, three point five kilograms, and one well, nice no, fight this guy. Yeah. So that's what that's you dropped. That's, yeah, I dropped, dropped four, four, in one night. I didn't eat, didn't, didn't drink anything. I was dehydrated. That's why. I, Maybe you didn't feel 100%, but... So were you working here? Were you skipping or to, to break What I did school? was I put the garbage bin on, garbage bag on, I <laughs> started skipping, did a half an hour skip, lost 2.5 kilos, that's it. Didn't well, eat during the night, yeah. You still performed very well, mate. I got the job done. That's, that's you got the, the job thing. done, mate, especially losing all that way. That's a lot of weight yeah. to lose. Uh, now... Well, I'd like to uh, now. You've got some fights coming up. You're going to yeah. fight in the Gold Clubs. Uh, yeah, it's a, tell it's me about a that. National tournament. Um, probably fight the Queenslanders oh, there. Shit, no, the, no, the, the tournament. No. no. So now got, you can make 69 kilos. I can make 69, but the problem but, is I got uh, my brother in that way. Division. Nikita. And all side boxes. Me, me, me and Nikita, we're not going to fight against each other. No, him. no. You know no, we're. No. We brothers. train together, you know. It's uh, it's a very, it's very handy having someone like my brother training with me. You know, we we get. Do you use actually spar? Yeah, we do. Spar together. Yeah. So you'd be good spar. We come, we come home, bruises <laughs> on our face, both of us actually. Imagine, yeah. imagine what our mum feels. <laughs> yeah, that's right, yeah, Natasha. Yeah, she's done a great job with you boys. Um, oh, that's great, mate. So everything looks good for your career, mate. So we're only yeah, twenty-one. Slowly, slowly. Right? Goal, goal by goal, step by step. You know, I'm not going to rush into too many things. 21. Is the Olympics uh, 2020? Olympics, no, Olympics, no, I'm not interested in that. Not interested. Interested, mate. I think I'd want to turn professional before that. Yeah, yeah okay. But I think it's more, more for Nikita, uh, the Olympics. For me, probably 20, when is it, 2018, come on. Yeah, 2018, yeah. yeah. Or 2017. Now, you're, you're also the general manager of the uh, Zoo Academy gym at Rockdale, yeah. which has a lot of world title fights, uh, world, tournament, world title contenders there, Solomon Olmana, Xavier Baiga. Yeah, we got, the gym's very, gym's very famous. Yeah. yeah. Very so, famous, so we get a lot of, a lot of uh, professional boxers coming in, Solomon comes in, we got Sake well, Bigger. Yeah, Sake Bigger's the former usual, WBC yeah. super middleweight I've got, got his kids that are trained there. Dude. Is that right, this, eh? Um, yeah. this, uh, so you do a great job there, mate. I'll watch you in action there. <laughs> thank you, thank you. You handled it very well down there. Now, what I'd like, you're a big boxing fan and you, yeah. you follow the Russian fighters quite that's closely, that's right? Yeah. So, as you know, Triple G is going in with Kel Brook very soon yeah. uh, you know, in September. I think Triple G at the moment is unstoppable. I yeah. think there's no one remotely possible at the moment that can even give him a chance. I think he's too strong, the Soviet style. When you watch him in amateurs, he had, sort of had the same style as Dad in terms of the front hand, always yeah. faking, in and out yeah. on his legs, coming in with different punches, countering. Yeah. Um, and then his professional professional style change is more of a walk-in. But at the yeah. same time, I like, I like how he controls his range. I think yeah. Triple G will give uh, Kel Brook a stoppage. Yeah. I think Kel Brook will start off better. First three rounds, I reckon Kel Brook will do some boxing, but I think six or seven, I think uh, Triple G will get You think six or seven uh, rounds? Can Kel Brook have some good rounds? Yeah, at the start. Yeah, uh, yeah. I think just physically, he was just uh, Triple G okay. was just breaking. And mentally, he's very strong mentally. He uh, is and too, yeah. For a fighter to come in mentally, you're fighting Triple G. So he's the world's yeah. best pound for pound at the moment. Oh, uh, oh, I think Kovalev for me. Yeah, Kovalev for you? Kovalev for me. Okay, that's Kovalev, the next question I want to ask you about. My favorite fighter at this moment. Sergio Kovalev is going against Andre Ward, Andre which will Ward. be his biggest test, right? Yeah, yeah. But How do you see that I fight? think he'll stop him. Honestly, I think he'll stop him. I just think, right? I like, I love his style. I love his style. I think Andre. Was you know, Sergi Kovalev was just taking the distance last week yeah. by Chalemba. Yeah, yeah. But I think he's. Uh, I just I love his, love his style. His jabs to the body. Yeah. His, his combo punching. His constant, constant pressure. He's, he's known, known as the crusher for a reason. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course.
Now, your mother's a great supporter of all your fights. Yeah, she is. That's my mother. Natasha, how are you, Natasha? <laughs> Thank you. Good on you, Natasha. <laughs> Must so be very proud. proud of your son. He boxed very well tonight. I'm so proud of him. <laughs> but I gave him all instruction how to box. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was Natasha. Yeah. Everyone heard you, <laughs> Natasha. It was my mum. Yeah. It was my mum in there. <laughs> it, was a, it was an outstanding fight, yeah. Both your boys doing very well, Nikita. Also boxing very well. Don't worry, I'm very proud this has Australian people is supporting us in boxing. And yeah. especially my the boys is they born in this country and it's not about just I said it's not about the boxing, it's about the discipline, about the your own personality. You don't need to be champion of the like on in the ring, you have to be champion in the life. It's that's, that's, right. that's what these achievements and the, outside believe, the ring as well. Outside of the ring, yes. And um, and I'm very proud of my boys what both, they're doing. Both your boys uh, have been uh, both gentlemen and uh, outstanding boxers too. Uh, Nikita came number three in the, the world titles in Kansas City. Wow. So you didn't even know. Right? <laughs> well, yeah. you didn't even know. So, <laughs> so, <laughs> what is Kim? Third. Third, third, third in the. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, world titles. World titles. You can see. Don't worry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Timothy, well, best of luck for your future fights, mate. Thank you. And the best of luck to you, Tasha. Thank you so much. Okay, thank lovely. you. All thank the best. You, thank you. Bye-bye, darling.